Hey guys, my name's Lucas, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the weirdest slash coolest gardening tools you can buy. And we're starting right now. So first up on our list is the Honey Badger Garden Gloves. Now take a good look at this picture. You've got a garden glove and you've got claws. These claws would be great for weeding, I think. Uh, but I personally am more of a, an old school type of fella. I like to go with, you know, more of a long handled hoe or some sort of long handled cultivator. I think that would be a lot more convenient for me personally. But uh, I definitely do think these gloves would have a place uh, in the garden. And I think they'd be good at, you know, getting into small spaces that, you know, maybe you couldn't with a, with a larger tool. But, you know, just I just think it's a really cool design, really interesting. Whoever thought of this, props to you. All right, next up on my list is the Lawn Aerator Sandals. So these are basically what you think they are. They're sandals that you slip over your shoes and I guess you basically just walk around on your lawn and I guess it's gonna aerate your lawn for you. Just imagine you're outside tramping around on your lawn and your neighbor comes out and they see these spike things on your shoes and they're like, what the heck is that guy wearing? Like, oh, what are you wearing, buddy? Uh, that might be a bit embarrassing, but I personally would be a bit worried that I would step on my own foot. Overall, I think these might work. They might just be a gimmick, though. It's honestly hard to say. They look like one of those gimmicky, as-seen-on-TV products, but, you know, it's hard to say for sure. Next on my list of weird or cool tools for the garden, we have the original Garden Weasel. Now, I saw this tool in gardening magazines a few years ago, and I thought, you know, it seems like a really sturdy design. This is a tool that I think is the most practical so far. I think it would work really well. Uh, it looks to me like it would really hurt if you uh, if your foot accidentally got in the way of this thing. Uh, you know, you'd probably have to go to the ER pretty quick. But I think it would be very useful. I feel like it would do a great job, you know, tearing up that, that, that uh, soil and getting under those weed roots and you know, really do a great job weeding your garden. Next up on my list, we have the Radius Garden Pro. Now this is a shovel that is supposed to get the roots of really deep weeds out of the ground. And it has a, it has a round handle. So that's kind of unique. I mean, most, most, uh, most shovel handles are just kind of, you know, straight across. This one's round. And I think in the, on the website, they advertise that it's supposed to make it more ergonomic, uh, which I think it might work, but Honestly, I feel like it's kind of gimmicky. Um, I, th I think this tool would work pretty well though for, for uh, long roots. And uh, yeah, I'd like to give this one a try. It might be good for dandelions and stuff like that. Next up on my list is a tool you may be familiar with, the Hori Hori knife. This is essentially a saw and trowel combined. Whoever invented this, props to you. It's a really interesting tool and I think it's very useful in the garden. It can be used not only as a trowel to dig holes, but it can also be used to cut things, like roots, and possibly even branches. I believe that the Hori Hori knife originated in Japan. The Hori Hori knife just seems like a very versatile tool, and I don't own one at the moment, but I'm hoping to get one soon. Last but not least, we have the DeWitt Tulip Trowel. This is just basically a trowel that is in the shape of a tulip. So I think this is kind of interesting. I, I don't know if it has any real purpose or if it's just the design. I assume it's just the design, but it looks kind of interesting and I think it would work well for planting, uh, you know, for digging holes for planting. And uh, you know, it's a cool looking tool. I bet a lot, of, a lot of people who are interested in growing perennials and tulips and bulbs would be really interested in this trowel. All right, so that pretty much caps the video off. This spring, I will be doing detailed series on how to grow various types of vegetables from seed. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.